Well, hello, D Rock here. You first outdoors. We got Jen with me, North with me, and we got some big old backpacks. So, what are we doing today? Well, I'm gonna tell you. We're back in the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve, and Jen and I recently did uh, a climb. We did Fortitude, or otherwise known as the Kayenta Crack. Um, we've come back, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb back up Fortitude. We're gonna get on top, and we're gonna do a little exploring up here, spend the night, and then we're gonna come down and exit the south face of Red Mountain. So it should be a pretty interesting adventure. The biggest thing is uh, we're humping up all our water. And that's about two gallons a piece, which weighs out uh, about 16 pounds just in water weight. So our packs are gonna be miserable, to say the least. So it should be interesting getting them up the crack here. But uh, one thing that's on our side is it's, it's, it's early June. We had a front come in. It's breezy, it's cooled off a little bit because otherwise it was in the high, or I'm sorry, low 90s. So. It's gonna help us out. I did bring a water filter in case we find pools up the top here. We can pump water, but uh, that remains to be seen. So let's get to it. What do you think, guys? Ready for some misery? <laughs> oh, why do we do this? <laughs> you can't be saying that yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, I think we're figuring about a thousand foot of elevation gain uh, with our big, heavy packs. There is a couple climbing sections. We brought a little bit of rope in case we have to rope north in or haul up packs. So it's gonna be good. Well, after you guys lead the way. So we're actually gonna take the trail. Uh, last time we kind of cut across the top here, we're just gonna drop down the ravine and take the trail, it's pretty easy to navigate. Uh, you can reference the, the video of Fortitude, but um, should take us a couple hours to get up that, I think. It's gonna be good. Looks like we got a little shade up in there, that's nice. I'm not really going to uh, record the approach here because we've already done that in a video. So we'll hit a couple choice spots. And as I mentioned in the first video, we are in the hellhole area, as you can see. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. The joys of hiking in the soft sand with a heavy pack. Let me tell you, it is bliss. But I'm going right up in there. Whew. Yeah. Each step you take, you sink down a few inches. That's good, clean fun. this boulder section to get to the base of the cliffs up here. So the grind is beginning proper. The breeze really helps out. High today is supposed to be 88 down here. <clears throat> this front
wind's definitely helping out. The fan blowing through would probably be mid 90s, so. Still warm. And now, we can run through the boulders. Well, we've discovered yet another miserable plant. I came up wearing boots and gaiters. Jen did not. She got a sock full of this stuff right there. That's coming off a sage plant. Let me tell you, you get a bunch of those in you, miserable. So now we got that and the foxtails. So, and look, the whole place is covered with it too. It's all covered at that sage sticker. <laughs> well, you know, if it's not miserable, it's not fun. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> See the road down here, that's where we started. And we're almost at the base of the cliff. So we're gonna cross this little drainage here, and go up, get up in there, take a fiver up there, put on some helmets, and uh, go bang out fortitude. Whew, nice day though, huh? Perfect. Yeah, it's not too, it's not too bad, heat-wise. Shade's nice. As you can see, we made it to the cliff base now, and uh, we're gonna come around the corner here. Walk right over here, and then that'll be our beginning uh, of fortitude. But we're gonna take a break before we start on that. Have some water and spray down because it is prime cedar gnat season. Let me tell you, if you haven't been swarmed by cedar gnats, it is an awesome experience. But getting some good views up here. Looking out at the Beaver Dam Mountains. Okay, so we've cut over a little bit to the left and this is the part of uh, Fortitude where we actually have to scramble and there's a little bit of climbing sections up there with some placed rope. So <clears throat> before we attempt this section, we're gonna take a break here and have some water, maybe have a snack, put helmets on and spray down with bug spray. I do not want to get chewed up by cedar gnats. Whew. That was a fun walk up, huh? What bad? Not at all. Just say no to cedar gnats. Sweaty, covered in sunscreen, and now bug dope. I feel great. <laughs> All right, so getting helmets on, and we're going to hit this section where we have to scramble and do a little climbing. And it should be interesting because uh, we're going to have to pass packs, and we've got some pretty heavy packs, so we may have to haul some packs up with rope, but uh, it'll be an interesting climb. <laughs> Nonetheless, get to the top of this. So, uh, hands free, it's gonna be on the helmets. And, uh, yeah, we'll get up this. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting getting through here. We'll have to pass packs right up there, huh?
Yeah. Again, up that. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a workout on this one, huh? Slowly but surely, we're getting up and we're about to get to our first placed rope climbing section. Uh, <clears throat> you need to be careful in this area because it's really loose and it makes things even worse when we have these heavy packs on. So we gotta be careful of what we grab, where we step. Okay, so right up in here there's our rope first rope we're gonna send north up this and then Jen's gonna go behind them and then I'm gonna try and pass packs if not we'll have to haul packs all right comes the fun huh Got it. <laughs> okay, pull. Alright, stop right there. that good times I have to do this in stages Jen comes right here and I pass the pack she's gonna sit right there get safe and I'm gonna get that pack over right there and we're gonna haul up my pack You good? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Right, Sam. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make it to the next stage up there. One more. 
so you can get over there, get safe. I'm gonna toss you the rope, okay? You're good? Okay, one, two, three, stop. Okay, hold it. Hold it. One, two, three. Okay. That was a fun little section to get up. Hold that pack. Let me get up. Jen, that was a fun little section, huh? Yeah, more to go. We got it this, and then right up here is the second rope. So, put this monster back on. All right, can use some of that cool breeze right about now. Cooking. Hey, this is a precarious spot here. Jen's gonna go first and go up behind this big boulder and she's gonna stop. Then North's gonna go and stop. Then I'm gonna go. It's really loose and the rocks can come down. So we're gonna wait until each one's up. Staying off to the side. Whew. How you doing, Jen? I am thirsty. Yeah, it's hot up here. We're out of the wind. It is cooking hot. <laughs> you got bit by a fly? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, coming to the right, it's a little less worse. It's not that loose, sandy crap. <sighs> you get bit by flies? A little less worse there, huh? All right. I don't like this rope, man. It's spooky. It's moving. The sheath is moving. Oh, good. All right, we're gonna have to haul packs up that probably. Careful with that. Why don't you let me get to where you are and I can pass it to you up there, okay? Let's go up one more. Doesn't look okay. like much, but this is a pain in the butt, man. Yeah. Just hold it to me and I'm gonna lean back with it and you're gonna pass me. Got it? Hang okay. up. Oh, mercy. <sighs> well, getting the packs up this have been a chore. But we're just about to the saddle. So once you get up this, you can take a break and have something to drink, man. It is hot. Oh, it's a breeze. Yeah. That was a hoop passing packs up those obstacles, but we did it. It's good. Now we just have to walk up this and we'll be at the top. So, that's looking back down at the hell hole there. Whew. It is warm down in that crack, man. <laughs> How many fly bites do you got, Jen? <laughs> All right, so we just have to get up here and uh, we'll be topped out.
oh, had something to drink slightly refreshed getting into some breeze now when we get up there it'll be a lot more breeze that'll be nice but coming up the uh the crack here was hot hot miserable yep all right let's go bang this last section out <sighs> Very nice. So, we're gonna follow this around. We'll be coming down Red Mountain tomorrow morning. Whew. Whew. All right, good job. Well, we are now at the top and you can see the ridge line here going all the way down to Red Mountain. And the terrain looks uh, interesting, say the least, so. Uh, it's gonna be It's gonna be a fun little walk to get over there. It's just gonna be up and down up all this stuff So I think we're shooting at getting somewhere over here to camp out. It's already close to 3 in the afternoon So this is definitely gonna take a few hours to navigate over and walk this rim around so So we're looking down. There's a big right Here's a big pool of water is there a big pool too? Where? Oh yeah, okay. Let's go walk over there. There's a big pool of water right over there too. So, it's still holding water out here. I wouldn't count on it though. You just never know. Time of year, we've had rain, blah, blah, blah. Winter time probably, yeah, but summer, you just never know. So, it's uh, good to pack a bunch of water, but um, that's good. We know there's there's more than likely pools all along here that are holding too, so. I think I see a little bit right down here, but navigating all this to get through over here. We're gonna head down to these pools and have a look. Whoa. Wow. That is a lot of water. We do not want to camp near that. The bugs would be horrific. Well, there you have it, folks. We have plenty of water on top here, so if we have to pump, we got no worries. All right, we're staying pretty close to the, uh, the rim here, and there's a big pool of water right down here. We're gonna make our way over here and have something to eat. But just looking at all this stuff here, man, it's just like a, a maze. And then of course, back over there, just peeking up Pine Valley Mountains. It's just over here. Seriously terrifying creatures in this water. <clears throat> There's something. 
and it's right there and it's big are you ready for horror That creature is right there, but uh, it's the stuff of nightmares. That's for sure, <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> oh, bless. Dan, you want to go swimming in there? mountain it's going to be uh, up and down up and down that's for sure oh it's gonna be a good time so that's our descent point right down that and as the crow flies you know this isn't far but <laughs> but we have to get up all through this stuff over here to get over to that part of the rim. So, <laughs> good clean fun, right? Still on the rim here, you can well see. And pools of water. Now those pools aren't gonna be there all the time, of course. But they are here now. Got us a little slot here. So right over to a big drop right there. All right, we're trying to figure out our path of least resistance and we don't want to go all the way up in here and over. We want to stay somewhat close to the rim. We're going to have to cut through and go behind this and then over. So this is some uh, pretty fun country, huh? Up and down, up and down. Whew. The heat of the day, we're gonna, we actually found a tree that's providing a little bit of shade, some soft sand. We're gonna kick it here for a second. May even take a nap. Oh, I, can take a nap. I can take a nap too. 
cedar gnats are out in full force. Scalps tore up. <sighs> what are you gonna do? All right, we kind of chilled out for a while. We actually fell asleep. I actually fell asleep. You fell asleep, Jim? Yeah. yeah. Jim was snoring. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got about four hours of sunlight left, so we're gonna start and make our way, I think, up and over this and then come back down and get back close to the rim again. Oh, a little stiff from the nap. That's the plan. <sighs> Nats, bad. Whew. A little siesta was good though. So we're trying to get by this ridge here. We're thinking we can maybe cut around it. But uh, we'll find out. And hopefully we don't have to backtrack. Looking back, whew, it's hot and hazy out there, huh? Whew. That should cool off okay tonight. Mid 50s, we think, up here. walk the rim over and we finally kind of cliffed out right here but we're gonna have to go up and then come back down and we're looking to get up over here because that's our point of descent Whoo! could have stayed in the shade for a little bit longer huh it's probably touching 90 degrees. It's it's warm, but at least there's a breeze. <sighs> oh well, man, we got some country to cross. We gotta go back down and back up. Looks like there's a pretty big canyon or drainage on the other side of this we're gonna have to go down and go back up but once we get over there looks like we can maybe come from behind and over I don't know but it's gonna take the rest of the day to get up through all that and it is roasting hot Whew. Whew. well Yeah, it's it's gonna be a hundred degrees in a few days. So this is our brief little cold snap, and then it's on for the next three months. Rough terrain, huh? Oh yeah. Now we just climb to the top of this. Taking a water break. And we got we got a good bit more grind to get through today. We're gonna sleep good, don't you think? Yeah. We didn't bring a tent. We're just gonna sleep on the ground. <laughs> Brought a ground tarp. We'll see what kind of critters end up in the sleeping bags. <laughs> yeah, it gets it comes out at night when it cools off. Yeah, oh, catches a ride with the wind. Yeah. Oh, that's a beach. <laughs> well, we topped out over there, came down, crossed the strand, and now we're working our way back up only to go back down again and then back up and probably back down again 
So, if you're wondering if this is a grind, yes, it's a grind. <laughs> and and there's flies. And I'm covered in cedar gnat bites. What are you going to do? <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> we aren't seeing any more pools of water either, so we haven't had to pump any. We've, we've got plenty. But uh, we're about to top out on this this wave here and then it's like I said back down so we'll get a look once we get up here <laughs> and we're about three and a half hours of sunlight left so we're making progress but it's it's not a straight shot over a red mountain it's god if you stretch this all out it's probably double what it looks lengthwise maybe look like a couple miles it's probably more like four miles or so I don't know but uh yeah, it's good, good, clean fun, that's for sure. <laughs> oh boy. Yup. All right, well, we're gonna have to make our way back down into this and then cut over and walk that up. So, not too bad. This flat area right over here, looking at right there, that's probably, probably holds water over there. <sighs> Whew, man. All right, we came down from up top here, dropped into a drainage, then came back up. Now we're following this over to this flat area right here and we come up our descent points right over here so we're getting there and this is good walking right now for a change instead of going up and down up and down it's kind of level for a second starting to cool off a little bit it's nice a little siesta helped huh yeah that was perfect i was out We made sure we stayed nice and hydrated. Big old pool of water. Whew. All right, we found a nice sandy spot, some footprints in it. People walk through here because our descents. Right over here, but we're gonna stay the night, so this looks good right here. This is obviously a drainage, but there's as you can see no thread of <laughs> any water. So nice soft sand here. We'll put a ground tarp out and uh it'll be pretty sweet. Or so we think. We're gonna kick it, get our gear situated, and uh have some dinner here shortly. Well, it's eight o'clock. Sun won't be up too much longer. That's where we're sleeping, right there. We're gonna stretch a ground tarp across that. Just lay out the sleeping bags. Got just a little bit of room to nip on for a bit, but uh, we're not gonna be up too late. Right, Jen? Yeah, I'm already tired. Yeah, tired. That was, whew, that was a trek today. We don't have much in the morning. We pretty much wake up, walk up that a ways, and then we'll hit the, the lip of Red Mountain, and we just go down, and that's about it. So it'll be a quick exit, hopefully.
what a day. Well, the sun is down and we we're actually moving our camp. <clears throat> Got a little pit around the corner here and the wind's just kind of funneling where we were. So we're gonna plop down right into there and it's gonna be a little more protected for the night. So uh, keep that window. It's actually getting chilly. So this is going to be mo better. So we are in a uh, drainage, but uh, there's no threat of rain or anything like that. It's going to be a clear night. Got a ground tarp uh, down here. Put the sleep mags on this, and we'll be protected from the wind down in here. So this will work for the night. Early morning, we're up. We're out of here. We're good. And it's cooling off quick. It's amazing how it goes from almost 90 degrees to down to almost 50 or so. Don't take long out here. Well, Jim, what'd you think about the, the hike today? It was cooler than I expected it to be, honestly. I really thought that we were going to get beat down. It was hot, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. The breeze was nice. And the terrain hated us. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I thought it was a good day. I enjoyed the crack again, so it was fun. What'd you think? Yep. Good times. We're gonna have a short morning. That's nice. It's gonna be a nice night. Yeah. Like I just said, we're gonna be protected a little bit down there because it's pretty breezy. The wind may lay down, it may not, but um, it'll get a little chilly. Sun is down. Darkness is approaching. We're licked. I think I'll probably sleep pretty good. Me too. Yeah. All right, well, here we are. And uh, still breezy. I brought a very light sleeping bag, so I'll probably freeze tonight. But I don't think I'll get hypothermic. I'll just be a little uncomfortable. Everybody else is pretty good. So this is our spot. And... Uh, yeah, one, are you, what do you think, Jay? You think that breeze is gonna lay down? Yeah, I do. <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, that's it for the day, man. We are out. We're gonna get up early and get down this mother. So, we'll see you in the morning. D Rock out for the night. Jen out. Endorsed out. Buenas noches. Well, the wind never died down last night. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it, it would gust and you get sandfuls, handfuls, facefuls of sand. <laughs> sandfuls of face. I think that's what I was trying to say. <sighs> Oof. Say, bury your head in the sleeping bag and the sand would get all in and turn over and yeah, just do it on the other side yeah it was awesome stars were nice though I don't think anything crawled into the sleeping bag with me you me I get a big old plug right on my neck there yeah my my whole scalp is covered in cedar nap bites I mean everywhere so <sighs> I'm gonna brew some coffee. Time for some coffee.
All right, packing up. The sun is just starting to come up. It's cold. And your head itches. My head itches, yeah. My head itches <laughs> bad. So we're packing up, like I said, and we're ready to get the hell out of here. <laughs> How's that sun feel, Jen? <laughs> you know it comes with the sun, right? Oh, bugs. The cedar gnats. <laughs> All right. We're packed up. We're going to get out of here. Not too far from our descent point now. Man, we hit our descent point right on the money. So we come down right there. No backtracking. Awesome. <clears throat> we can get down the chute right here. Found a way, huh? Finally at our descent point. Pretty steep descent. I've done a couple videos on Red Mountain. <clears throat> so I probably won't record the whole way down, but there's a couple interesting sections that are always worthy of recording. And man, we're almost out of here. So, fun little trip. And we're just going to follow this down and out. And 30 minutes from now, we more than likely will be at the bottom. Okay. And down we go. Good old Red Mountain. <sighs> all right, well, this is our coming down all of this. And we've got this spine to go down, and bloop, that's where we staged the vehicle down there. So, just a mere thousand feet or so, and we're out of here. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Nice deep sections here. I just got a handful of prickly pear. Ah, it sucks. Oh man. I mean, my hand, I just grabbed 
Watch what you put your hands. Oh man, my whole left hand's covered in prickly pear spines. God bless. Almost there. Well, we've made it to my favorite little section of Red Mountain, and it's this down climb of this year. Particularly enjoy this. used to doing it with such a big pack one. I wonder if I can get down this with the pack on. Let's see. That's fun. Okay. Oh, sweet. Final spine is going to drop us right down. And we are almost out of here. Engine's up there making her way down right here. Car's right behind her. And we just came down that cliff, climbed down that section there. Good stuff. And we're at the final section down, right here. That's that. Coming down Red Mountain. Came up right out there. Easy peasy. Nice breeze. Not too hot yet. That's it, man. A couple more days, it's gonna be 100 degrees out here, so we took advantage of the little cold front that pushed through, huh, Jen? anymore so like you said yesterday we won't be, at, be back out in this area probably till fall till it cools because it's just gonna get cranking from now on and down that's it Jenna North are right behind me down before it gets too hot. And that's that, man.
Good little walk. Good little overnight walk. You made it, Jen. That trail really is quite ruthless. Yeah? Yeah, your legs are like toast and the end is like the steepest part and it's all loose and you're trying to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hands are all cut up. Good times though, huh? Always. How are your legs, North? I think if you cut them off, I wouldn't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> well folks there you have it <clears throat> i was up fortitude a night in the red mountain wilderness and then the descent of red mountain pretty cool little trek there anyway appreciate you watching stay safe out there if you haven't subscribed please subscribe support for the channel is greatly appreciated we'll see you next time d rock out jen out north out adios